What's up everyone, this is TechZact and in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix a broken cable on my Superlux HD 681 EVO. By the way, I have a review about these headphones, check the link in the description below. This video can be also useful if you have other kind of headphones but similar problem. So, coming up! I think this problem is a quite common one with the headphones in general, so I thought that it can be useful for a lot of people to show how to fix it. You know how manufacturers make their products so that if it breaks then you don't really think about fixing it because they want you to buy a new one and I don't really like that idea. So I was brave enough to try to fix it to fix it with my friend and we succeed so now it's working again and i think that you should also try to fix something if it breaks it's better for the environment and also it's better for your wallet the symptom with these headphones was that one of the drivers was stuttering and it was really really painful because i noticed that for the first time when i had an interview the first thing to do is to unscrew the screw which is on the side where you have the broken cable after that you should gently pull down the cover sadly i didn't make a footage about it how to pull it down and now i don't want to break anything so I'm gonna pull down the cover on the other side of the headphones and then you just have to pull this off with a little bit of force I hope that I'm not gonna break anything okay and now I just pull it off When it's pulled down you can see how they designed the flexibility of the headband interesting the next thing to do is to cut off the short cable and after that you should gently pull down the chrome part at the end of the cover i'm not gonna cut any part of the video so that you see how did we struggle with it? It's a little bit hard, but it can be done. Okay, and now my friend is going to cut the end of the cable, which I got to the headphones, is the 3 meter cable. Then you should put the chrome part to the cable and after that you should strip off like four or five centimeters from the end of the cable you can see that it's not really hard and there's three cables in the cable then you should compare it to the headphones and now you should remove all the unnecessary cables with the help of heat after that you should cut off the end of the red cable and then strip off something like half centimeters from the end of the red cable and then twist all those strands together nice and tight then you're gonna heat them up and apply just a little bit of solder just to coat them and hold them all together then next thing to do is to strip off something like half centimeters from all of the cables you know from the main cable then you just have to twist all those strands together nice and tight then you're gonna heat them up and apply just a little bit of solder just to coat them and hold them all together next thing to do is to apply just a little bit of solder to the red cable on the headphone and after that you should 
trim down just a little bit from the white cable and after that you should put them together and apply just a little bit of heat so that they are connected all right next step is to take off the old solder because if you mix it with the new one then it's not gonna be a good quality connection so you should take off the old solder then apply a little bit of solder from the new solder then connect the red cable as it can be seen on the video then after that you should take off the solder where the white cable is connected then apply new solder and after that connect the white cable then you should connect the black cable there as well before applying the tape you should check whether the headphones are working properly or not with videos where you can only listen to left speaker and the right speaker and after that you should apply the tape so that there is no short circuit okay and the next step is to put the chrome part to the cover and we try to apply some instant glue but it was really really cold so it wasn't good enough to stick those two parts together so you should use another kind of glue that's why we decided to use the hot glue gun but don't put a lot of glue there because at the end the cover should slide to the headphone itself and we did a big mistake because we put a lot of glue and then we had to cut a lot of parts from it you can see that those two spiky things should go to those little holes that's why you shouldn't put a lot of glue there you should also put a little bit of glue with the hot glue gun where the cables are connected so that the connection is really strong don't forget to put a little bit of glue there so that the cable is not moving in and out and at the end you should slide the cover to the headphone those two spiky things should go into those two little holes maybe it's gonna be hard then you should cut out a little bit more of glue there and then it should be good you may have to play with it so it's not gonna be really easy and you also have to pay attention so that the top part of those two plastic things have the same height because one chrome part is going to go to the top of those things and if everything is good then you should screw in the last screw and then try out the headphones whether it's still working perfectly or you did something wrong but it should work perfectly and maybe the garbage of this whole process can be beneficial for someone so i'm gonna show that also all right that's all i hope it was useful for you if you have any question put it into the comment section like the video if you found it useful and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos thanks for watching bye bye